I hate that I had to be back here. But back in January um, of 2023, this year, uh, the South Wales police talked to Victoria, and they have forced her to take down all of the videos that she had made about me. Um, and in agreement with that, I had to take down my Twitter page uh, exposing Victoria Keene as well as the video that I had made about her. Um, and that was all good. Um, part of this was me meant that she was never to contact me um, directly or indirectly in any sort of way. Well, I have just found out that she got her Twitter back. Uh, thank you, Elon, for doing that, by the way. Um, but she has been contacting me um, indirectly through this Twitter. And so has her sister, apparently. Um, so, this means I had to contact the police again. And, apparently, this means I gotta make another video saying what Victoria has done. Um, is that she has been stalking me for over a year now because I had suggested that her acting out against my friend was simply because she was going through something in her own life and was unfairly taking it out on her. And I didn't even say it to her. I said it to my friend. And I was trying to be empathetic to her, but apparently that was me bullying her, which just makes me think Victoria has never experienced true bullying in her entire life. And because, honestly, the things I've gone through would make her scream. Compare, because that's, being told that, things that she said to me, that's actual bullying. She accused me of genocide in her most recent video, which now I am convinced she doesn't even know what that word means. Um, because, honestly, a lot of the things she accuses me of... Um, no reasonable person would believe the things she says. But I don't really think there's that many reasonable people around anymore. Uh, I mean, she did convince somebody who lived near me to make a gun threat against me. And I did have to get a order of protection against that man. At least he was sensible not to... Um, violate the order of protection. Victoria, meanwhile, has been given several orders by the police, and she violates them all the time. Um, she has been told never to contact me numerous times, and she violates that all the time. And she also has made this weird um, rant in her Twitter, um, now, I do not know if it was about the situation with me, but if it is, it's interesting, um, because she's saying something about, uh, the UK police have to, um, abide by some certain rules, and she's in, in saying that they have to abide fairly, and that if they don't do so, that they're guilty of treason. And I'm like, Victoria, do you think you were treated unfairly by the police? And that that's for this officer uh, is guilty of treason? Because, you know, you were never arrested, even though I kind of think you should have been. Um, you were just told not to contact somebody. And you were forced to take down some videos of yours. That was all that was required of you. You were just made to do some pretty simple things. Uh, now again, it's possible that those posts are about something totally different. So I could be wrong about what those are about, but just in case they were about this policeman, <laughs> she certainly was not treated unfairly. In fact, I think she was treated too well. 
honestly, as I said before, she should not have a smartphone. I think the people who run, you know, her healthcare, her home, they need to take it away. Uh, she should just have a landline at this point. She cannot handle the internet. She really cannot. Because even the tiniest criticism just makes her think she's being bullied. I mean, if anything that's less than saying that she's absolutely perfect and the perfect person, she will go into a whole huge meltdown, say you're the worst person ever, and start stalking you. And that's just not healthy or good behavior. And she will ruin your life. And she's been going after me for over a year now. And I had to get the police involved. And I feel I deserve some kind of financial compensation for the shit I've gone through. She has gone after my sister who is physically disabled. And she's actually staying with me right now. And she does not need the stress of me being under the stress of Victoria going on right now. So honestly, she needs to abide by the the law and the police orders that she was given. Because I just simply cannot deal with her. I have abided by the rules that I was given. But she has not. So honestly, Victoria, you were told never to try to contact me or talk about me in any shape or form. You have not done that. You have <laughs> you have violated those orders. Because you can't help yourself. You keep saying that you're over me and that you don't... No, you keep bringing me up. No one was even talking about me to you. You are clearly obsessed with me. So it is seriously a problem. <laughs> and yeah, I was seriously afraid that you were going to mail me a bomb. Because that is the kind of psycho you are. And I can see you still a threat. Because you're clearly still obsessed with me. So, yeah, I have contacted the police again. Because, honestly, you can't stop this. And probably you do need to get arrested at some point for you to learn anything. I just don't want to deal with you anymore.